Welcome back everyone, Elizabeth Stinson, cul-de-sac woman. It's early November, my favorite time of year. Preparing for Thanksgiving, anticipating the holidays right around the corner. Time to gather, reflect, celebrate, and head to our kitchens. We'll begin with, what else? Appetizers. Welcome to Thanksgiving time in my kitchen. If there is ever a time of year that we are looking for ideas, it is now. Especially when it comes to appetizers, I think we are all looking for something new and different. So today, we are going to make two original and delicious appetizers, savory olive bites and Thanksgiving trail mix. First, we will prepare the savory olive bites. Now, I had to call these savory olive bites because calling them just plain old olive bites did not do them justice. We are going to prepare a simple butter bean pastry dough in our food processor. I have one 15 ounce can of butter beans drained and rinsed well in the food processor. We're going to add a half a cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. two teaspoons of dried parsley flakes, two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice, one tablespoon of canola oil, And last, a half a cup of fresh grated Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay, now lid on and we're gonna pulse to moisten it until crumbly. It will resemble a pie dough. You might wanna stop once to scrape it and then we will transfer it into a bowl. Okay, we have our olive rolling station all set up. I transferred our butter bean pastry dough into a bowl, and I'm just giving it a gentle toss to ensure even moisture, but don't form or pack it. And we have, I have a jar of drained pearl pimento stuffed olives, just a 5.75 ounce jar, should be more than enough. Don't use the jumbo olives because they're too big for this. Okay, we're gonna drop an olive into our pastry dough and just pick up the olive with just enough pastry dough to cover the olive. And you're gonna form and roll the dough around your olive, forming a smooth, round ball like that just enough pastry dough to cover the olive. A lot of love goes into these scrumptious savory olive bites and your guests will really appreciate the love. These are also a great idea if you are not hosting and have been asked to or offered to bring an hors d'oeuvre. It's a great way to show your appreciation to the host family. I'm lining them up on parchment lined baking sheets just remember, only use just enough pastry dough to cover the olive bite, no more, no less. All right, we will continue rolling the olive bites and be right back with you. Well, we enjoyed listening to a trombone lesson while we were rolling our olive bites. Just a little background holiday music there. That batch yielded 39 olive bites for us and we're going to bake them in a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes, giving them a gentle toss shake after the first 10 minutes and then we'll remove them from the oven and let them cool on their sheet baking sheets before storing them in an airtight container in the refrigerator for a day or two. While our savory olive bites are baking we will move on to our Thanksgiving trail mix. It is so much fun to tailor make your own snack mix for special occasions. Just look around your grocery store for three to four items. Here's what I found for Thanksgiving. 
First, we have some caramel corn, which typically contains peanuts. So if you need to substitute with something, just use regular popcorn. Then I have raw pumpkin seeds for color. Just mix and add in proportions that you prefer or whatever you have on hand. Then I found some apple chips, a couple different kinds, Granny Smith and Fuji Red. I'm gonna break them up a little bit with my hands since they're, you never know with apple chips, they could be big or small. Just give them a little break there so they're not too chunky. You'd like your items to be similar in size. They don't have to be exact though. And last but not least, dark chocolate covered cranberries, dried cranberries. Whatever the occasion, we have to have some chocolate in our mix. Just give it a stir until it's blended together nicely. This is something the kids can do Thanksgiving morning. We can't really mix up our homemade snack mixes way in advance because moisture can transfer from one item to another causing some funny textures. And we want to keep those crunchy items crunchy. Crunching is actually a stress reducer. So that's why I try to choose my items wisely because some days we need to crunch more than others. And these tailor-made snack mixes are always a hit at school parties. Individually bagged, teachers, parents, and kids love them. They're just extra special. To serve our appetizers, First, we have our savory olive bites. They do not need to be served hot. Just remove them from the refrigerator and place them on a pretty platter. I actually prefer mine closer to room temperature. For dipping, we have Greek yogurt with just enough ranch dressing mixed in to thin it out for dipping. And a cooking tip, after the first 10 minutes of cooking, I actually individually flipped each one over, being careful not to flatten them out. In a word, savory. For our Thanksgiving trail mix, we have a couple of beautiful options. You can serve it punch bowl style in a pretty clear bowl with little individual party cups around it. And guests can serve themselves in the little cups. Or you can pre-portion it out for them in little party cups on a pretty platter like this. And Guests can just serve themselves from there. Mm. In a word, Thanksgiving. All the flavors of Thanksgiving are in this mix. I really enjoyed preparing two appetizers with you today. Savory olive bites and Thanksgiving trail mix. I hope you enjoy one or both of them at your Thanksgiving celebrations this year. Join me next time in the cul-de-sac and we will continue with more Thanksgiving ideas.